Hello, I'm Daniel Westfall on the channel Pray With Me. Revelation chapters 20 and 21 gave us the terrible battle of Armageddon, the welcome demise of Satan, the astonishing resurrection of the dead, the spectacular final judgment of God, and a marvelous new heaven and earth. What do you think? What's left to say after this happy ending? Not much, only to point out three things in John's vision. First, he describes the capital city of the new earth. It's the new Jerusalem, the city of God that relocates itself from heaven to earth. It has Twelve gates, named after the twelve tribes of Israel, guarded by twelve angels. The city walls have twelve foundations, named after the twelve apostles. Old Testament Israel and New Testament apostles and angels from heaven together create a new civilization. And the main street paved with gold. John is astounded to see the city has no temple. Of course not. God himself and the Lamb are the temple. No need for an ornate building. No need for sun and moon. God is the light 24-7. There's no darkness and no evil. Only glory and honor and righteousness. A river of pure water runs through the city, flowing from God's throne, watering the tree of life that bears fruit twelve times a year. The leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. What an amazing vision of utopia! In scripture, history began in a garden populated by two people. Now, history ends not in a garden, but in a city with living water and a life-giving tree. A city at peace, where all nations come to worship. The long battle with sin and injustice is won. The curse is lifted. Earth is paradise. The long, dark night of faith is rewarded with a vision of perfection. A second amazing characteristic of John's vision, the veil between heaven and earth has disappeared. The city of heaven has been relocated to earth. The doorkeepers at the city gates are angels. God lives among humans in the new Jerusalem. At last, we experience heaven on earth. In my life, I have felt God's presence in fleeting moments that pass too quickly, leaving me wishing for more. Perhaps in the new city, I will experience God's presence continuously. A third characteristic of John's vision, the absence of conflict. Long ago the psalmist said, I see violence and strife in the city, malice and abuse are within it. But in the new city, peace reigns. The wars of the world have ended. The long day of worship has begun. Let's pray. Our father, Abraham, dreamed of a city whose architect and builder was you. We too are disillusioned with the noise and violence and corruption of the cities in which we live. Keep us safe in this city of man. Bring us quickly.
to your city of light. Amen. I'm Daniel on the channel. Pray with me.